Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chili, and I just got done watching She-Hulk episode six, and it's one to talk about, you know. And you probably know how I feel. If if you're enjoying the show, props to you. You know, you like it. It's okay, you like it, but I am so much hating this show. You know, uh, I had some good hopes. I enjoyed the first three episodes. I enjoyed her origin story. I did. I, it's not like exactly from the comics, but I did enjoy her origin story. I liked her relationship with her cousin. Um, I like the connection they both had. Uh, the Abomination episodes were pretty cool. I liked it a little bit. It felt like She-Hulk, like, um, she's defending a criminal. She's defending a super. And I feel like there's more Abominations going to happen. I feel like, you know, if it's not, the show is really, really bad. Uh, but after that episode three, where epi three more episodes past that, <sighs> terrible. Just torture, terrible. Hate to entertain women's character. Hate the Wrecking Crew. Um, boring. I, I'm, I'm going to just name a bunch of negative stuff. I don't want to be this rant guy. I don't want to be known as, oh, this guy hates Disney Plus. I don't. I know there's a good moments these shows have. There's some, there's not that many good Disney Plus shows out there, but the um, Hawkeye and uh, show was okay. It was pretty good. Definitely when Kingpin came in, it was great to see Kingpin, you know, but they're dragging along Daredevil. I know most of these people, once they show Daredevil in that trailer, when we got introduced to She-Hulk, that would make everyone happy. We want to see Daredevil. Like <laughs> the the best. Like there was a lot of memes out there I saw last week that when we they showed Daredevil's helmet, that was the best part of that episode. And that was the best part. Literally in thirty minute episode in five like a little one minute like scene, one minute part of the ending of the scene, showed Daredevil's helmet. That was the best part, and that's what's so wrong with Daredevil. I mean, She Hulk show. That's so, so wrong. You know, like this is. You could be different. She all could be different, but it's not funny. They're trying to be funny. They're trying to be entertaining. They're trying to be uh, not a full-on superhero show, kind of like Spider-Man, uh, Captain Marvel, or Doctor Strange, or any of those action packs. Okay, fine. But add some action. Add some drama. Add some entertainment. If you try and be this third-wall person, uh, com comedy person, uh, comedy uh, show, then be like Deadpool. Make funny jokes. Um, do... Something funny, but it's not funny. Like, the only thing that was entertaining this episode was probably when Immortal jumped off the building to get away from him. That was the only thing I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he killed himself to get away. I, shoot. kind of wish I was Immortal to do that, in a way, to get away from this show. Like, God, this show sucks. <laughs> uh, but just all around bad, you know? <sighs> this this was sad, man. I want the MCU to succeed, man. It just It's not hard. To write an entertaining show. It's not or episode. Uh, it's not like these writers are pulling themselves back. No, they, they wrote this story. They, they come up with an idea. Like I said, she doesn't need to be full on action. She's a, a, a kind of like a street level hero. Kind of like Daredevil. That's why they put Daredevil in the show. And like the other heroes, you know. They could have made Tantanian a bank robbery. Maybe uh, add her husband a story man. That would be dope. Like a Bonnie and Clyde right there. And she -Hulk, is trying to be a lawyer, but she has this great power uh, responsibility, kind of like Spider-Man. You know, that the great, with great power come great responsibility. It'd be cool if she had that, that line in here. Uh, like someone told her, and said, you gotta throw me a Spider-Man? <laughs> That'd be funny. Say, I would laugh at that if you did that. Uh, but, yeah, and that's where we get that balance. Because this is what the show's about. She has this power, she has ability. Everyone wants her to be she up, but she just wants to be Jen. She wants to be a, just a lawyer. But... You you have all this power. You can't just be a lawyer. You have your Hulk. You can't just be a lawyer. You're something else. So that's what this whole show is kind of about on gaming. But like you could add those. Like you could when we got that Wrecking Crew introduced, they could at least like seriously give us a cool design on the Wrecking Crew. It doesn't even fool on comic book fine, but give us at least these people that look like musclers and um and uh, to, like uh, muscle. Freaks and all that stuff. They could have been wrestlers, you know. They could have gave those roles to wrestlers. People that literally did some damage to y'all. Could last five minutes and that fight would be more cooler the way that ended. Same thing with the Tang Woman. Like I said, they could have done better. They could have gave her role more better. Except for being a, a Kim Kardashian, Pierce Hilton character. That's a disgrace to the comic book role of the Tang Woman. That sucks. Don't do that. That's bad. Like, terrible so far. This movie, this show has been so terrible. So bad. Um, I just, I wanted to get better. I wanted to get gold. Cause I'm, the reason I'm watching it, so I want to see Daredevil and, uh, I'm a, I like to finish season. If I started watching it, I like to finish, you know, I want to get the full thrill. I'm definitely not watching season two until some, 
I hear a lot more better opinions out there. But, like, this is bad, man. I don't know, man. A lot of these Disney Plus shows not been that great. Moon Knight was whatever. Uh, I have not seen Miss Marvel, so I uh, heard a lot of good things about it, but I, I wasn't entertained. Cause it, to me, what brings a good show, a good superhero show, superhero show, movie, whatever, is the villain. The villains hyped it up. And there's no villain thing here, and that's what pisses me off. Like, if we do get entertainment with villains, Titanium Woman sucks. Terrible. Uh, the recruit sucks. So there's nothing there. Like, there is a villain in the background. We've seen these science moments, and there's someone plotting against she uh she hawk so just give us that who is it so we can hype us up like we got with the hawkeye show we got who was the mystery man behind all this and was the kingpin that's what made that show great when we saw wilson fix the kingpin that's what made that probably one of the best disney posts was that he's an awesome villain see that's what made that great even when they're hyping the falcon and winter soldier um show that disney plus the show Barazim will put that mask on. It was one episode he did that. But seeing Barazim in his classic costume, um, feeling like Barazim doing a cool scene, that what made the show a little more better. After that, it sucked in a way. Cause I didn't like the, the kids being the villains or whatever that organization. Didn't care for all that. I like Vulcan. I like Winter Soldier. Cool characters. But didn't like Sherry Connor being like a trade dealer. Didn't care for that at all. But Barazim in his purple hoodie, that was pretty cool. That's, that's what fans want. They want good villains. Thanos, Loki, Killmonger, uh, Lucy's Claw. I can name great villains that Marvel done. Um, even uh, Scarlet Witch. She was awesome in that Stark the Strange movie. That was great. That was out. She turned into a great villain. The crazy woman that wanted to see her kids again. Wanted real. That felt so Scarlet Witch. Losing her mind. That was awesome. So why can't he just give us that more often? Give us great villains. I want to see the leader actually plotting against she hulk Maybe creating the record crew itself. Turning him to them beast. That would be cool. Give us something like he's sending more assassins. Sending the sorry man. Uh, that would be cool. Maybe the show will turn around. Maybe turn to Tame Woman. The woman, the villain we wanted. Turning a sorry man the villain we want. If they bring the sorry man in here. But yeah, hopefully we get the leader next episode, episode 7. I'm still thinking the leader will pop up. We got the leader popping up in the Captain America movie. The New World Order, it's called. Uh, he is room, uh, He is a cast in that movie, so he is coming in this MCU somehow. And I hope they do him justice. I want him full green head. I want him looking like his comic book villain. Don't be lazy on him. I don't care if the CG's not great. The CG's not that great here, but it's a TV show. That's not movie quality, so I, I accept it. It's whatever. But give me what the characters look like in the comics. That's all I want. And or do a little upgrades. Fine, you want to do a little upgrades? That'll be cool. I'll be fine with that too. Like how they did with the Vulture in Spider Man. That was cool. That he didn't look exact nothing like his comic book cover, but he did enough to make it more cooler. Like like kind of robotic wings. He still looked like the bird. Michael Keaton played an awesome Vulture. I loved that Spider Man Homecoming. That was great. Um, that's what we want. That's what I want. That's what I want. In the MCU, <clears throat> excuse me, in the MCU, great villains to match with these cool vi heroes you designed and made. They all need that. Every character, Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, Moon Knight. I think Moon Knight would be a lot more better if they didn't the villain more justice. They didn't. That villain kind of was whack in my book. People didn't like Thor too because the villain with Mel Metcalf wasn't that great. So, like, that's what's important. You go through the list of you. I want you to comment below. Give me a Marvel movie or DC movie, any superhero movie, that the villain wasn't great, but you still like it. Like, there's a lot of movies. Like, what made the Batman, the new Batman movie, um, uh, Reese, Matt Reese, I think Christopher Reese, or Matt Reese, yeah, Matt Reese, uh, Matt Reese one, the new Batman with the Riddler, amazing actor. If it wasn't for him, I think that movie would not be that great, but amazing character. He fled your Joker in Dark Knight, amazing. I go on and go on. There's a lot of amazing villains that makes the movies more better. It does, or TV show, anything like that. That in the Daredevil show, that's what they found Wilson fixes. That was what made the Daredevil show more great. Bullseye and that was great. The hand was great in Daredevil show. That's what made the Netflix Daredevil show so awesome. The acting, the background, how dark it is, the um 
The villains in there were so cool. The dead ninjas, we got the dead ninjas in the hand. Well, that's what made the defenders suck when he did bring the hand. They were not dead ninjas. They were just people in suits and they didn't feel like they were the hand. It was stupid. But that was the hand and that was made Daredevil Season 2 great. Daredevil Season 1, Kingpin. I and mean, King, Kingpin and Bullseye in Daredevil Season 3, great. But that's my little rant. I hope the She-Hulk show get, uh, gets better. I really do. We got four episodes left. Um... I'm tired of this kind of like kiddish, um, funniest stuff with She-Hulk. Let's spice it up, put some uh, little more tension to it, more villain in it, or something more exciting. I need more excitement in She-Hulk. It's not funny, so give me excitement. Give me entertainment. It's not entertaining to me. That's why I want She-Hulk. Hopefully it gets better. But comment below what you think of the She-Hulk show. Well, you, you like it? You don't like it? Are you still even watching it? <sighs> Hopefully the next episode, episode 7, does great. Hopefully we get the Daredevil. Hopefully we get the villain of reveal itself. Hopefully there's more to the She-Hulk show. There's hopefully there's more. There's hopefully more. I'm tired of this dating, bridesmaid, lawyer stuff. I'm, I'm tired of it. A couple of episode, episodes I was, quite, oh, I was okay with it, but now nah, I'm tired of it. I just want give me some action. Give me some thrill. Give me give me some. Maybe our friends get hurt by accident and she's angry about that. Maybe people around her. Give me some serious. I want some seriousness in this show. That's what I want, and we're not getting it. Like, you give me a couple episodes without, fine without it, fine. I'm cool with that. Like, three or two, um, cool. But give me some seriousness. Some seriousness in this show. That's what this show needs, some seriousness in the show. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not talking right. But thank you all for watching my show, my uh, video again. Like I said, comment below. I want to hear your thoughts on She-Hulk episode 6 and on, on the whole show, period. But thank you all again for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to talk to you more about some cool movies tv shows we got a lot of superhero stuff coming out and we'll see how episode seven of she is but have a good day and good night remember stay nerdy forever bye